this tool right here, W3CSS, is um, a good framework to use. I'm not a fan of frameworks, basically because there's a lot of JavaScript in them. And though I like JavaScript, JavaScript hurts your CSO if you use too much of it because the browser can't read um that code it can read html text but it a browser or the google search engine reads contextual text it does not read code so anything inside a script tag uh, google uh, robots not going to pick up on uh, when they're indexing your page for uh, search engine optimization you want to use a lot of uh, text um, this is free it's also um, very simple. You do need some, some kind of framework if you can use it because it gives you consistency and it's very, very important when you're doing web design that you design for all devices. So it's very, very important that you do responsive design. Now, sure, you can do old HTML, CSS, uh, set up and do responsive design and um, by changing your numbers to percents. Let's see if I can find here. But sometimes it's nice to have a framework to do that in. And there are a lot of frameworks. There's a lot of stuff out there. I'm not a fan of them. I'm usually a purist and I usually like to do my own coding. However, when you're doing a site, sometimes you have a lot of work. That's a lot of work to do. And it's easier if you can find a frameworking system. I particularly like this one because uh, right here, it's adaptive for all devices. You're PCs, your laptops, your tablets, and your mobile devices, and you need that in today's web design. It's also got built-in um, code for to make it supportive for Chrome, Firefox, Internet, Safari. Your CSS will work in all of them without you having to handwrite uh, WebKit, blah, 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 on all your properties. So that does speed it up. I also like the fact that it says it uses standard CSS only, no jQuery and JavaScript. You can add those things to it later if you want to, but it's nice to have something that is a basic starting point that doesn't put a lot of uh, JavaScript because you don't want to clutter up your site with that. Um, you know, it's fine if you're a big company and you've got a recognized name and it's you've got a lot of traffic anyways. But if you're a mom and pop shop, using a lot of JavaScript and not a lot of contextual text is not good optimization for your website. You need to use a lot of contextual text. Googlebot only sees um, the code of your site. It does not see your pictures. It does not see um, your JavaScript scripts that you write it only sees the contextual text that you write so when it's indexing your site on the web it only has that to go by